There you go. That's amazing. I can't do that. <laughs> and asked a question to me. And I literally got a glimpse of what their channel could be. Why don't you guys come up? Jessica, why don't you? On the spot, so I would, I would literally start coaching them and helping them with a specific channel. Um, we've had several conversations of really defining what content is, what it looks like, how do you actually develop an audience. We actually have best campaigns in my life I have in my head. We shared it. And it's for the world. And I'm really, really starting excited about this. But before we do that campaign, we need some help. So this is where the challenge comes from. Oh, yeah, it's a challenge. This is a challenge. You're like, you're like you want to go here. And this campaign is gonna be so epic. It's gonna launch their channel. Um, so when I saw them, I knew that they need to be the first foot bloggers on YouTube. They, they, they don't have a rig. They, they, can't, they can't vlog right now. So I'm taking the most creative minds on YouTube, Pete, Cody, Sean. I'm going to challenge you to vlog with your feet. And you have to come up with a rig that they can use and it can be comfortable for them wow. that they're able to vlog. Wow. What do you guys think? <laughs> California. We were at Vid Summit. We were invited here by Daryl Eves, which was super amazing. I'm so grateful to have him uh, be managing our channel. He invited us on stage, which was amazing. We got to meet uh, Cody and Sean, and we didn't get to meet Peter McKinnon, but we know that he's going to help us with our challenge of learning how to vlog without arms. I've learned so much from being here. I'm learning how to develop the channel and what needs to be done. All the lectures were super amazing. Everyone here is just collaborating and making videos and it's just been a blast. And I hope you guys um, can see us next year because I definitely want to come back and learn a tons more and share it with you guys. Yeah, and, and we really, um, Patrick and I came in from a long international trip, but we made it in by the time, just in time to be introduced on stage in front of hundreds of people by Daryl. And wow, that was quite a thrill to go up there, and he almost choked and started crying because he was talking about his story about how he has a brother who became paralyzed from the neck down, and he shared about why he's so passionate about helping us and most importantly, why he's so passionate about the message. <laughs> My, uh, I guess, the most funniest moment was when they were doing all the giveaways at the end. I don't think you were there, were you? I was, for part of it. They were doing all the giveaways uh, for the end of Bid Summit, and the last one was uh, a contest on rock, paper, scissors. And so I was like, wait a minute, that's not fair, that's not fair. And I went up to Daryl, and then they looked at me, and they're like, use your feet. And I was like, okay, even though it's just going to be paper the entire time. I'm just <laughs> everyone laughed, it was a funny moment, and uh, I think everyone just enjoyed how you know humorous that I was able to just go up there and be like, wait a minute. Did you go on stage? I didn't go on stage, but I just stood in front of the stage, and they looked at me, and everyone was laughing. They're like, oh, yeah. Because uh, uh, Sean made uh, a big announcement. He was like, "We're gonna make this the most. You know, everyone can do this. This this challenge. Everyone will be able to be included." And it was just it was, I don't know. It was interesting. But I was the only one left out. <laughs> well, it was. I, I know you were in the front because I could see the back of your hair in your bright red shirt. But I was in the back, like I like to sit in the back of auditoriums. And when it came to that, I essentially uh, turned to this guy that I'd met previously at VidCon. And he's all like, yeah, let's do this. And then I started doing it with my feet. So essentially, I was able to move my feet. And he couldn't quite decipher whether it was rock, paper, or scissors. So you just make up your own So mind. I just made it up so that I ended up winning every single... <laughs> So you can actually have an advantage when you can't decipher with your foot whether it's rock, paper, or scissors. 
I should have been the one to win that prize. But I didn't even make it on stage because I was like, hey, it's totally unfair. Yeah. It was it was fun. It was yeah. fun. And I just I love that being here at Mid Summit, everyone who, you know, whether you're a big creator or a small creator, they're all just willing to talk to you. I guess we are just excited to be here and wait for our next video to come out and I'll see you then. And don't forget, if you like this video, please like and subscribe or go to patreon.com slash and subscribe. See you guys later.